Hi friends. We're going to be drawing pumpkins today and I just checked with Greg at the post office and asked him would he like pictures from kids of pumpkins for October and he said yes. So by the third week of October we need to get our pumpkin pictures in. Either to me and I'll take them over there on October 21st or uh, you can take them right to the post office. And your picture might be different than mine. That's one of the great things about art. If you have a pumpkin to look at, that helps. But the way I'm going to do it is very simple. So I'll show you. And I also want to encourage you that if you live far away from Haynes, but you want to just mail us your picture of a pumpkin, you can do that. Haynes Library, P.O. Box 1089, Haynes, Alaska 99827. So we could get pumpkin pictures from all over if you want to send them in. Now, the way I'm thinking about doing this is for very simple art supplies. I've got here a black magic marker and just a few crayons. Of course, you probably expected orange and yellow for the sunshine highlights and brown for the shadow, but I also have blue and green and that'll help us at the end. What you'll want is a piece of white paper and let's get started. One of the great things about art is it really encourages persistence. I drew three pictures of pumpkins before I liked one and then I kept going and drew some more. So if the first pumpkin that you draw isn't your favorite, that's all right. There's lots of time to draw pumpkins. It helps me to look at what I'm doing, but after I looked for a while, I noticed the top of the stem looks kind of like a blob and then coming down sort of 3D box-ish are the parts of the stem and they kind of connect to what will be the orange part like that. Then I drew the outside of what I felt like the pumpkin looked like. It's not a perfect circle, pumpkins aren't. And then the letter C might help you as you think about or a backward C making kind of 3D lines that come down. So then you have that shape of a pumpkin. Now if I'd use a permanent marker. I could freely watercolor paint, but I just used a magic marker. So my next step was to get the crayons involved. And once I got the crayons involved, I was coloring in some highlights. So you can see highlights where the sunshine hits the pumpkin and also shadows in brown. And I put in a little green grass. We do have some green grass left, although your grass you might draw in in brown or whatever you think will look good. Now when I added the orange, I really pressed hard and I did up and down straight lines and then I took a naked blue crayon and put in a little bit of blue, just rubbing on the side of the crayon so it makes kind of a sky-like edge around. If you want to use black or you'll be able to be creative and make your pumpkin just the way you want it to be. And then be sure to sign it so people know you're the one who did it. And you might even want to put the date. Your pumpkin drawings might change from year to year. I hope you draw some beautiful pumpkins and bring me your pictures here at the library, all right? I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.